All right, this is Josiah Gray and Mackenzie Gore. All right, first question, Mac. This is a good one. If you were to write a book, what would it be about? I guess it would have to be the lifestyle of baseball, I guess. That's a good one. Pretty I think I would do something business related. Just whether it's baseball or real world, something that entails business. You know anything about business? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Whose swing or pitch did you imitate as a kid? As a kid, I wanted to imitate Derek Jeter with the swing. I obviously did not do that very well. Uh, as a pitcher, it was anyone I could find that was really on the Yankees. So, CeCe Sabathia, obviously he was a big lefty, but I enjoyed watching him, Luis Severino, uh, any of those guys. Uh, pitch, I would probably say Bumgarner and swing. I was a David Ortiz guy. Big Poppy. Yeah. So. You hit nukes like him. I did, yeah. <laughs> All right, next one. Who had the biggest impact on your life growing up? Ooh, I would have to go with my parents, starting out deep. Um, I would have to go with my older sister, Meredith. What was your I made it moment? My I made it moment, I would say, is my debut in the big leagues with the Dodgers uh, finally getting that call and uh, getting some big league hitters out uh, was probably the biggest moment. Yeah, I would say the debut and the standing ovation coming off the field, debut would be. Standing, would be oh, yeah. yeah. All right, next one. Would you rather travel forward or backward in time? Forward. Yeah, I think I'd go forward as well. Hey, what, what's behind us is behind us, you know. It's <laughs> a good way to look at it. I think, yeah. Like the past is in the past, and you got to look forward to the future. All right, a couple more. What do you collect? Um, ball markers. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would say I've started to collect jerseys, uh, signed jerseys uh, to put in my house and uh, have a little, little man cave. Favorite jersey, probably Marcus Stroman right now. Uh, I got his Cubs jersey from last year, and it's uh, right there in the middle. So it looks, it looks great. I didn't make it, huh? <laughs> Not <yet>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What do you do when people sing happy birthday to you? I just like awkwardly smile and say thank you. It's, okay. I don't know. Sometimes I start singing to you. Definitely you got to give them a good smile. Yeah, yeah. Like this past birthday, it was all of my uh, girlfriends, nieces, and nephews. They helped me blow out the cake. So uh, that one was a little fun to remember. Mine's Saturday, so we'll have to see what I do. Yeah, we'll yeah. all sing for you, yeah. and we'll see. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you want to ask the teammate across from you? <laughs> what do I want to ask you? What do you want to ask me, yeah. What's your favorite hobby? I would say playing video games. Okay. I enjoy playing MLB The Show and Call of Duty. Um, but now I have to ask you something. Hmm. What made you uh, learn golf? I just started playing with people and they kept taking my money, so I <laughs> had to get better. Love that. Yeah. It's a great answer. What's the most useful phrase you know in Spanish? The most useful phrase I know in Spanish, vamos, easy. Mm. What can I say here? Something PG. <laughs> yeah. Go with Vamo. Yeah, Vamo's good. There you go. A little slower Vamo for me, you know. <laughs> Ooh, that's a really good one. What makes you irrationally angry? I like this one. <laughs> little things really make me angry. Um, somebody that leaves mess behind them, you know? Leaves somewhere, something messy. Yes. That makes me mad. That's a very good one. I would say things that throw me off of, like, my routine. So, like... I guess little things. We, uh, we got to work on that, though. It's, you know, something might not go right. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. But, like, yeah, those things, like, very much internally piss me off. But okay. I'm not angry a lot. What do I do that you, you wish you could do? Everything. 
<laughs> um, what do I wish I can do on the mound that McKenzie does? I think just the way he's uh, even keeled, you know, not too high, not too low, very much like one mindset, and it's very uh, admirable to watch. I wish that I could show emotion when something good happens like you do. <laughs> when, I can't yell, I just, I don't yell, but when you do it, it's pretty cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. You could do you believe up. in ghosts? Do I believe in ghosts? I will say yes, because I feel like a lot of these shows where you see the paranormal activity, while it might be somewhat staged, I feel like it might be somewhat real. So I do think there are elements of ghosts present. I do not believe in ghosts. What do you admire about me? Your work ethic. I think we'd both say that. Yeah, yeah. I would say the work ethic. You know, we're, there's not much downtime yeah. in us preparing for starts or in between starts. Not my um, sarcasm? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, yeah, I would say the work ethic and just the way we go about business. You know, it's very much, um, you know, no nonsense. I think this, we're good if you are good. This is the fishbowl. <laughs> Uh, Mackenzie and Josiah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Good.